Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We're continuing our run through of Lufia and the Fortress of Doom. And uh, we're back at this warp uh, in the Gaius Cavern. And we can continue on. And we are not exactly where I was the last time. What happened? I'm really confused. Well, let's explore, I guess. In there. Huh. Last time it, that warp led us to a different. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. The switch. I'm gonna put it back down. Because I left. Ah, where frogs. Get rid of him. Also, I figured out what the. Uh, I figured out what the wind flute does. I'll show you in a second. After I, uh, beat these up. Ooh. That was painful. So the wind's flute is actually a item you can use in battle. And it heals you. Does a little bit of healing, and I think it's it lasts forever. Yeah, so it's cheap healing, so very useful. All right, yeah, there we go. This is where I was before. So not bad. That wind flute will actually be the thing that I take away from that. That's going to last me. So let me throw on another sweet water. We're gonna head to the next part of the cave. And uh, this is where it starts to get even more maze like. Because looking at it, because yes, I am using a map, uh, even looking at the map, I can't tell where I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> I do see a. Uh, a general path I have to go to, but it's not clear, in the least. But, okay. We can do this. Alright, first things first. I'm gonna head this way. And, uh, remember when I had sweet water on? Like, right now? It's not really... Ah, crap. I always get the ones that are weak. Guess I'll have to burn through one of those. Get up. Get your experience. She's close to a level anyway. So, healing up real quick. First things first, we're gonna go up here, we're gonna grab that chest, and then come back down. Because this place actually loops around. In a very strange manner, actually. But, uh, at least now I don't have to look at my level and say, Hey, it's ready t it's time for an old cave run. Because <laughs> we've already done all those. I could go back and level up in that area, though. Which I may do in between episodes at some point. Hey, learn Blizzard. Not now. Not, and not, probably not after this episode, but, you know. It's available to me, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, grab that revive mainly because I just used one. Where frog? And of course you got hidden. Yeah, flood actually is the strongest of the water spells too. 
So the fact that they're throwing it at me is kind of... Kind of mean. Gotta say. Alright, so... Heading home this way. And of course I'm ambushed. Seems like my main character is pretty slow with that buster sword now. Or maybe it's just my imagination. Well, I mean, it is a giant piece of sheet metal. <laughs> you know. Alright, so, head into this door. Be set upon by killer T-Rexes. I don't know, would that be a T-Rex? Or would that just be just generic dinosaur number seven? Yeah, with the Buster Sword, he's pretty slow. Or maybe he was just slow and I'm just noticing it now. Alright, next potion. I had a sweet water on, didn't I? Getting ridiculous. We're not even on the final floor yet, either. <laughs> That's the problem. I'd like to finish this one tonight. Oh, free treasure. Silver sword. And then I get hit by an enemy. That enemy. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So, healing again. Uh, everybody else is kind of okay. <laughs> Sweet water ran out now? I thought it wore out hours ago. I actually like the games where if you use a sweet water type item where it's supposed to get rid of enemies, it works off your level. Some games do that, like you'll if you're say say you're level ten and there are level five enemies in a cave, you will get no encounters if you have it on. But if you're a if you have your level 10 and you use a sweet water and it's between levels say 10 and like 9 and 11, the level 11 monsters you'd face. So you could actually use it to get the stronger opponents sometimes. Um, Shin Megami Tensei does that. Uh, and it was actually a tactic you could use to find the rare monsters easier because oftentimes they'd be, like, maybe two levels higher than everything else. And if you wanted to face them, you just get to the level of the enemies, throw on sweet water, and the only opponents you'll ever face are those rare monsters. But this game just says, uh, maybe we'll turn down the, the uh, amount of enemies by 1%. <laughs> Cause that's what it's starting to feel like. This is the, the bottom floor, essentially. And, of course, it's another maze. This time involving bridges. Bridges and ladders. Let's grab that chest. I find it shameful that I have to keep going into caves to find one guy 
only for that guy to probably say something along the lines of, um, why did you come down here? I was going to go back to town in like five minutes anyway. Like, if it was me, honestly. If it was me, like, like say the uh, Finding Cooper in the old cave. Uh, if it was me, I, instead of going into the cave, oh, I'm trying to use swing wing again. Um, I would stand outside the cave, or in that lobby, and just wait for him to come up. Because he has to come up sometime. Eat or pee or sleep or something. Because he's not sleeping in the cave. So I'll just hang out outside the cave. If I went in there, I would have had a chance to miss him. Maybe he was coming the other way. Maybe when I went south, he was coming in from the west and goes up the, up the elevator and you never see him again. You know, just things to think about while you're playing RPGs and going through generic fights. How would you do it? How would you solve some of the problems that characters face every given day? I mean, there are a lot of games where winning would have been not doing anything. Like, any, any game that involves you looking for, you know, seven MacGuffins, you know, seven different items to, you know, either seal away or release a horrifying demon. And you're like, oh, maybe that's why he's down here. Because he apparently lives down here. At least I can full life myself right here. You know, in any game where you have to find seven things, and the, uh, the main villain is also trying to find those seven things, it always usually ends up, um, you have three of them, but you end up, like, having to give them to the villain because he captures, say, your girlfriend. What I would have done is essentially what, um, if you're familiar with Dragon Ball Z, what Vegeta did with the first Dragon Ball in on Namek, I would hide the damn thing. Because, hey, you know, maybe I can't get them right now, but at least the villain can't. I mean, in this one, it's a, it's a lot different because I'm trying to prevent a resurrection, which is going to happen if I don't move. But there are some games, like, I'm thinking Final Fantasy IV right now, where you could have just taken one of the crystals and just kind of went off somewhere and protected it, and you would have been fine. The world would have been safe. I mean, you could also argue the fact that, uh, say, what happens when you die of old age, will the villain at that point be able to... Yeah, so I guess you could say that. Anyway, Brant. <laughs> Are you Brant? No, I'm Clack. interested in Doom Island. Ask me anything about it. I want to know about Doom Island, East Piers Ring Island, it was created when Doom Island fell into the sea, the lagoon in the middle of the island, it's the fortress. There are three sea caves around Ring Island, they lead to the center. What did you discover? Island's starting to move. The Fortress of Doom. It's in the title. How about Brant? <laughs> Hardly any left these days. Except seven. Brant's in Mars. Yeah, so he wasn't even here. Port north of Linz, follow the shoreline by boat. If he's not in Mars, he's in the caves looking for Illumina. Why didn't I just go to the Fargo Islands in the first place? Yep, I did find the one in here. Alright, so, we're gonna exit out. 
that was a pointless waste of time. And on the next episode, we head to Mars, which is apparently where Brant really is. So I hope you join me for that. Oh boy. Uh, my name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.